Well, they are mechanical engineers, store clerks, and even some stay-at-home moms. And while you may not know their names, you know they will be there to answer the call if needed. That's right. We are talking about East Tennessee's volunteer firefighters. And in tonight's Behind the Badge, 6 News anchor Bo Williams shines the light on one member who's not only dedicated to ensuring your safety, but also breaking down some barriers mm. as well. No doubt about it. You are so right. And I tell you what, you may not know Chris Lackey, but she and so many others like her go above and beyond every day with very little in return. That's why she's the focus of tonight's Behind the Badge. And Matthew, do a slow sweep from left to right. Chris Lackey has dedicated much of the last seven years of her life to one thing, and that's protecting her South Roan County neighbors. I would want somebody to come and to my aid on my worst day. Um, so I do. Add another 15. Lackey is the assistant fire chief for the South Rome County Volunteer Fire Department, a position that oversees 100 square miles and five station houses in a job that pays in peace of mind rather than cold hard cash. You have to have that heart and it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of energy mm -hmm. and uh, to do it for free, <laughs> <laughs> to jump into a burning building for free. I think, Bo, that a lot of people don't understand w that their volunteer departments are not paid that we don't get anything from this except the satisfaction of helping our community out. Can you get down, Shannon? And that's what fuels this wife and mother of two, who besides giving her time to keep South Roan safe, is breaking barriers in what traditionally has been a male-dominated profession. It is a tough thing to break into. There are a lot of um, preconceived notions. Um, and as a woman, uh, you have to work harder. You know, you have to assert yourself more yeah. and uh, prove yourself more. If you get tired, you can go, you can lean right up in, into him and still have the hose, okay? Because you'll be doing this for a little while. It gets tiring. Bo, I will tell you that I never expected to be a chief of any kind. Just watch where you're aiming that. I just wanted to go out and do my job. But I try to do my job right and set the example. Keep your foot out. And it's that example she hopes will inspire others, women and men, to join up. Right now, it's, it's tough to get the call out. Um, people are very busy. They have their work. They have their family life, um, their church life. That's the end of because you put it in the bucket. You know, they have regular jobs. They're stay-at-home moms. There's, you know, secretaries, mechanical engineers. It doesn't matter. They're just truck drivers. It's uh, anybody. They're smoking really bad, so you're just going to go back and forth. Make a little wider sweep. A volunteer department is basically your neighbors who come together to help the community and respond to fire. Now, I did ask the assistant chief just how many women were under her watch. She has four right now. And if you would like more information on just how to get involved with a volunteer unit in your area, maybe you want to donate, maybe you just want to help them out by cutting the grass at the fire station. You don't necessarily have to be a firefighter. You can call 1-844-VOL-10. That's one 844 865-8366. We should note there's also a website that you can learn a whole lot more and make contact with those if you want to get involved. And we've posted a link along with this story at WATE.com. Kristen, Lori. Oh, thank you so much, Bo. Hats off to our volunteer yeah. firefighters mm -hmm. and that awesome group of women. Yeah, to each and every one of them. Yes. Thank you so much. And no pay. Volunteer. No pay. That's the key. Volunteer. That is. Amazing. All right. We need